Chromebooks, audio editing, audio recording, podcasts, music, singing, songs, sing, tongue, saliva, slippery, slippers, sippers, cocktail, mocktail, shocktail, what tail? Not. Here's how to record and edit audio on your Chromebook. Assuming your Chromebook has Crostini, which chances are it does, this is the new best method. Not sure if your Chromebook has Crostini? Well, we'll find out soon enough. Follow along now, eh? First of all, you just want to open up settings and find Linux on the left hand side bar thing. If it's not there, that's a bummer. Your best bet is to jump over to a video I made last year about running the Windows version of Audacity on your Chromebook. Link up the top here somewhere. Best of luck. If you do have Linux, let's turn it on right there if it isn't already. It'll do its thing and then open the Terminal app. Wonderful things happen in the Terminal app. First, it's always a good idea to punch in sudo apt update and hit enter. Let it do its thing, and then follow that up with sudo apt upgrade, just to make sure things are fresh. Now we're going to install Audacity. For audio work, it's the program I'd recommend. It's free, open source, and many featured. You can always try other programs later on. So now let's enter sudo apt install Audacity. This will get us installing Audacity. Now there's actually another way that I wanted to encourage you to install Audacity via a flat pack, which gets you a more up-to-date version of Audacity, but I haven't been able to get my microphone working in that version, so sticking with this method for now. Once it's done its thing, you can close Terminal and find the Audacity app has been installed. Open it up and edit audio, go wild! Now, depending on when you're watching this video, audio input from your microphone might not work yet. Have a check. Generally, we find the working microphone is called either default mic zero or sys default mic zero. So give both of them a shot. If neither work, on to the next step. So here's how we get your microphone activated. If you're on Chrome OS version 83 or higher, go to the address chrome colon slash slash flags and search for mic. The flag we're looking for is called allow Crostini mic setting. You just want to switch that from default to enabled. And while you're there, there's this modify mic gain flag, which allows you to access the gain of your microphone in the bottom right tray right here. So that's pretty cool. You can enable that flag right now too, if you like. Hit restart. And then once things have restarted, we want to head back into settings, go back to Linux, hit Linux again. And we've got this new toggle here, give access to microphone. We want to switch that on. That is exactly what we want. Now, if you've done all that, excellent, well done, hold tight for a minute. Let's talk to those who are on Chrome OS 81 or earlier. You've got to do something slightly different here. Don't worry, it's not too challenging. With your browser open, hit Control Alt T. That'll bring up this window where you want to enter VMC Stop Termina. That'll shut down any Crostini stuff that's currently running. Then you want to get them started again with the command VMC start termina dash dash enable dash audio dash capture. Hit return and it should just take a sec before it's done. And now we're all on the same page. Let's head back to Audacity, select a microphone, usually either default mic one or sys default mic one. Hit record and see if you're in luck. This is me recording into Audacity with a USB microphone. Now it's worth pointing out too that if you can't hear your own audio playback, you might need to change the audio output setting. Swapping over to this Intel one did the trick for me. Let me know how you go. Remember, it doesn't have to be Audacity that you use. This is the method of installing many, many Linux programs. So there may be another audio editor that you prefer. If you're after something more straightforward than Audacity, maybe check out Osun Audio. Anyway, have fun. Te amo. Hasta pronto.